Hello friends, in this video we will see a problem related to the pipes and system. So let us consider two pipes can fill the tank in 20 minutes and 24 minutes respectively. Okay, so two pipes can fill the tank in 20 and 24 minutes respectively. Two pipes are filling, these are fills. Okay, and a waste pipe can empty 3 gallons per minute. There is a waste pipe is also connected. Waste pipe empties 3 gallons per minute. Per minute. Okay. And all the three pipes are working together. That means two are filling, another one is the waste pipe. So all three are working together. Can fill the tank in 15 minutes. Okay. All three working. all three working so then we have to find what is the capacity of the tank capacity of the tank what is the capacity of the tank so we have to find the capacity of the tank okay so first pipe takes 20 minutes to fill the tank and second pipe takes 24 minutes to fill the tank and the waste pipe empty is 3 gallons per minute okay 3 gallons per minute so if all three pipes are open they are taking 15 minutes okay they are taking 15 minutes okay all three working together taking 15 minutes okay so we have to find the capacity of the tank okay so initially we do not know the capacity of the tank but okay so if you take first one is taking 20 minutes to fill the tank and 20, second pipe taking 24 minutes third all three together is taking 15 minutes to uh, fill the tank 15 minutes to fill the tank okay so now initially in all the three cases uh, the capacity of the tank and the tank is the constant so that is a constant so I will take any value okay any value so that I am taking as a 20, 20 LCM of 20 24 15 LCM of 20 24 and 15 20 24 and 15 so it is going to be the LCM of 20 24 and 50 is going to be 120 okay 120 okay so it is going to be 120 units okay so it is going to be 120 units so the capacity of the tank is 120 units Okay, so 120 units. We are assuming that what capacity of the tank is 120 units. So at the end, we will find the actual capacity of the tank. So if the capacity of the tank is 120 units, that means the first tank is filling in 20 minutes. That means it is filling 6 units per minute. Okay, first A is filling 60 units per minute. Second one is taking 24 minutes to fill the tanks. That means to fill 120 units, it will fill. 5 units per minute okay 5 units per minute okay so all three together okay all three together all three together so that means uh, two filling pipes one waste pipe so all three together i am assuming that waste pipe is c okay a plus b plus c together c is empty huh? c is empty all together are taking 15 minutes to fill that 120 units that means all together filling 8 units per minute okay so if you a and b together is 6 plus 5 11 units per minute so a and b together filling 11 units per minute a b and c together filling 8 units per minute so that means here c is what it is empty c is empty so if you see the difference that means 11 minus 8 it is going to be 3 units so that means C is emptying 3 units per minute. So 3 C is emptying 3 units per minute. The difference is 11 minus 8. That means C is emptying 3 units per minute. But so C alone will take uh, will take to empty 120 units. Okay, to empty 120 units with the rate 3 units per minute, it takes 40 minutes to empty the tank. Okay, it takes 40 minutes to empty the tank. Okay, 
So C alone, C actually emitting 3 units per minute to MT 120 units, it takes 40 minutes. But according to the given question, C waste pipe empties 3 gallons per minute. Okay, so C alone taking 40 minutes. So that means the capacity of the tank is going to be 40 into 3. 40 into 3. Why? Because C is emptying 3 gallons per minute. So C is taking 40 minutes to empty the whole tank. So it is going to be the capacity of the tank is going to be 120 gallons. 120 gallons. So the actual capacity of the tank is 120 gallons. Okay. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.